The Stuxnet virus, or worm, which is a kind of self-replicating virus, um, was something that was launched uh, by the U.S. and Israel against the nuclear facilities at Natanz in Iran. And what it was designed to do and what made it so remarkable is it made the leap from the virtual to the real. This was computer code that once inside Natanz, it infected something called a programmable logic, a controller, a PLC, and that controlled the centrifuges, which are the things that enrich uranium. So what happened was it took over and it monitored the entire operation for a number of days. And when it was ready, on its own, without any command from the outside, it then launched an attack. And it made the centrifuges spin wildly, either very fast or very slowly, until about a thousand of them blew apart. There's part of me that believes that it was an incredible operation and also a very powerful piece of software that did, or may have, prevented Israel from bombing Iran which the United States was terrified about, and this is something I learned in the film, that was really the reason that we participated in the operation. We were terrified that Israel was going to bomb Iran, which would inevitably draw us into a war with Iran. Coming back to the Stuxnet virus, I think the really interesting thing is that, in part due to the actions of one of the actors, in this case, uh, Israel, uh, it escaped from Natanz. It was always supposed to be secret. It escaped and started infecting computers all over the world. And as a result of that, now the blueprint for this kind of weapon is available to everybody. Uh, and it set off a kind of cyber weapon arms race that is extremely disquieting because it threatens critical infrastructure all over the world and is being done in secret. The code is actually infecting the machines that operate the other machines. And so now they're shutting down real world devices or devices that are not computers. And that's probably the scary part. So you can imagine water filtration plants suddenly pumping out poison instead of good water. The pernicious aspect of these kinds of cyber weapons is that they are secret. But we do let people know that we actually have nuclear weapons. We have a sense, we have a, a, an international set of agreements that limits their use so that the whole world doesn't go up in flames. We understand capability, nuclear capability. And mind you, it took a lot of work to get the government to agree to start talking about that capability. So my takeaway from the film would be that we have to begin to at least start talking about the capability of these weapons, to admit that we developed them, and to begin to start forging some sort of international agreements on their use, or we're all going to go down. And we're going to go down in ways that we won't even know what hit us.